this scene of survivorship and reading for all neighbors and men and eyes and sign for the week, uh, the 15th week of uh, April 2000. <laughs> That's so nice. Uh, 15th of April 2017. And I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. It is the week of the sun energies and the week of the sun energies. Bring in fantastic energies in this week. It's going to be a wonderful, beautiful week. You need to understand where you are and how things are in your life at this moment. The sun is bringing you beautiful energies. I'm going to say to each and every person, like and share these videos. And you need to remember to do your daily thing. And that is, you're going to practice giving and receiving in this week. So above, so below, here we are. You have the magician of the week and the infinity sign. The Libra full moon is coming up. So for all you Librans out there, this is a magical moment. And I guess I know why the magician comes up for your reading, you Libras, because the energy vibration of the full moon is here with the Libra full moon. And it is saying to you that what is in the spirit world, you can bring it down. So it's like all the magic, because you have the divinity abundancy, you have the sun behind there. So it says you have everything in your hand that you need to enjoy this full moon of the um, Libra uh, sun, moon, and rising sign. So this is extremely good. So be aware of the situation and understand where you are and the journey you are and and how this is going to work and help you in the long run, okay? As we move on and we look at what is going to happen in this week for you, um, this week is a week of uh, fire energies, but yet still water, and your best day is going to be on Saturday. A whole lot of you air signs get Saturday to be your best days. You Librans have the energy vibration of the magician, the full moon is the liberal full moon coming up. Be aware of this. Use this to manifest good things. As we begin the week, there's a lot of water energies, a lot of emotional things going on in this week. On Monday, you're going to have the energy vibration of the hermit coming up. The hermit is going to help you to connect with yourself and look within yourself and try and understand certain situations. The Hermit is going to bring light to certain situations in your life and understand where you are on your journey and on your part and be aware of who you are as a person on um, um, elevating in this energy vibration um, in this week. This week is a fire week and the Hermit brings you insight to certain things and this is good. On Tuesday, you realize the Wheel of Fortune comes around for you, which is wonderful. Um, it is a fire week with the Wheel of Fortune coming around. It's going to be wonderful because a lot of people, a lot of people will be um, uh, receiving fortunes, you know, wonderful fortunes, new things, good things, um, success, but yet still, it can be in the wisdom. It can be wisdom, understanding of the spiritual world, but yet still, the Wheel of Fortune is here. And it comes with a lot of wonderful uh, gifts on Tuesday, so be aware of that. And um, as we look at Wednesday, we have the energy vibration of the Five of Wands, and people are um, having this going back and front and that sort of thing. And this isn't good. Okay, so um, whatsoever um, conflict is going on uh, on, on Wednesday, stay out of it. There's certain conflicts going on on Wednesday. Just stay out of it. It's not your, it's this complex, it's a karmatic thing. The wheel of fortune drop is conflict. So be aware of what is happening. You, you know, just be still and know what's happening to you. And this complex, just stay out of it. As we move on and we connect on um, Thursday, we have the energy of judgment, which is another water energies. As I have said, is that your whole week, the whole from Saturday, from Saturday, 
and Friday you have only water energy. So information will be coming to you. You'll be um, connecting inwards and information will be coming to you because um, something is happening and information is going to come to you. So this is good. This is wonderful. This is good energies. Be aware of the situation and know where you are as a person, as a spiritual being. As we move forward on Friday, we have um, the Eight of Pentacles on Friday, which is extremely good. I like these cards, they're so funny, but I like them. The energies that you receive from them, they're so innocent. And the Eight of Pentacles is wonderful. The Eight of Pentacles is, is a raising situation, how this works. This is sort of the energy that is happening. Um, the energies that are happening with the Eight of Pentacles is that um, the Wheel of Fortune is going to bring you money. The Wheel of Fortune is going to bring you money. So, again, the Wheel of Fortune with the Eight of Pentacles. So we have the Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Pentacles, and the Magician. That means you're, ma you're manifesting things in your life. Be aware of this. You're manifesting things in your life, so this is good. This is extremely good. This is wonderful. Okay? So, this is going to be um, a week for you, Liberance, a week of where um, financial things are going to come to you. It's as if the universe is going to pour um, financial abundance down to you because the full moon is your real full moon. The magician is here. Uh, here, the magician is here. Then you have the Eight of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. So be aware that the Wheel of Fortune is going to bring you money in this week. And this money is, when the Wheel of Fortune comes, always money that you're going to win in um, the, uh, the lottery or that sort of an energy vibration. So if you pay the lottery, you will win money. Eight of Pentacles is yet still a lot money, good money. Um, so be aware. On Saturday we have the energy vibration of the Nine of uh, Swords in Reverse. The Nine of Swords in Reverse is here. And it's a good energy vibration. This is, um, you know, uh, a sort of energy that is, uh, um, that is good, uh, that you will use to understand um, that you, you have, uh, you shouldn't worry. Um, there's no, uh, you shouldn't worry. There's, you have no um, situation to worry, so be aware of this, okay? As we move on forward, then we have the energy of four, six, uh, the seven of cups. The seven of cups is the energy vibration where you are, you know, you, there's so many opportunities, so many doors that are opening up, so many things that are coming to you, which um, you are not aware of. And if you only give it time, because you need to give it time, you need to give this time. Because if you give this time, so many wonderful opportunities and blessing will be coming in your life that you will be so um, surprised at what is happening um, that you just could not um, understand the wonderful gifts that you receive. This is wonderful. This, is, this reading is so good because, um, yeah, uh, the deliverance have been having so, so, this good energy, bad energy, good energy, bad energy. And as I look at this reading with this last A7 of Cups, opportunities are coming. A lot of good opportunities are coming for you, Libras. This, the energy of this card brings unforgettable good opportunities in your life. And these opportunities are, and has to do with something that is going to be affecting you. And it's going to bring you wonderful new blessings in your life, but yet still 
a, a, a place where um, everything seems to fall in place. So good things are happening and it's, it's going to touch everybody's life. So if you have been working on the negative energies, negative vibration, it's as if the magician is going to cleanse all the negative things away from you and bring in something and then the best thing you can use to change your life. So whatever energies you're working on and for the people who are elevated and who are in the fourth or fifth dimension, this is just going to be magnificent because you're going to be able to touch um, all that you place in the universe to manifest in your life and you're going to see them like start coming down as if like um, teardrops or um, um, slow drops that sort of a thing and it's just going to manifest in your life so this is just going to be wonderful it's going to be beautiful I love your energy because um, your reading is crowned by this um, this a magical experience of, uh, you know, the infinity sign. And I like the infinity sign. I love the infinity sign. And that you guys got the infinity sign. Um, there are situations that are going to happen. Um, the, the energy of the um, air vent is here. And the air vent is bringing in um, judgment. So... Whenever the elephant is here and the elephant is looking and bringing in information, information is coming in to you, information is going to come into you. Okay, whatever is happening here, information is going to come into you. And then we have, uh, as I said, the Wheel of Fortune with Eight of Pentacles, uh, and we have conflicts, but there is no worries. With this conflict, there is is it's not going to be any worries because it's just going to be a conflict that is just going to fade out and it's not going to cost you any consequences or any other person any consequences so you know this is going to be um, a good way of um, situation being cleansed out of your life so this is extremely good I'm loving this I'm really loving this with you guys having your own uh, source energy vibration and I want to say namaste until next week.